Welcome back to Dream and Does Gaming. Dream and here playing more Boulder's Gate 3. Um, one thing that we probably want to do now that I'm thinking about it, um, we don't need Will in our party at this exact moment. So we're going to head back to camp here. We have Carlac. Carlac is fine. Oh yeah, I like how they, right, right, they change what your camp looks like depending on where you are. Um, I just want to get Gale back What's in. Um I'd be delighted though someone else will need to watch one Alright. That's it. Alright. So there's obviously lots of traps here. Okay. Go disarm as many of these as we can. <laughs> well, we'll get it. We needed at least a five on the roll. There's also a burrow hole over here. Okay. Now we didn't see this one. So that's always a bit of a cause for concern. So we're going to take it off group mode just while we get the stuff around this one. We really need the broken stuff. Obviously, we see that crate right there, so or that trap right there. We just can't do anything with it. Please don't step on it, dear God. What the heck is wrong with you? Where are you going? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, well that's nice. Traveler's chest. A burrow hole. So generally, what these burrow holes and things will be, um, you can send familiars, um, things like that through them as, or you can um, use enlarge or shrink um, t to make your way through them as well, but they're basically just to get access to areas <clears throat> like this if you don't have the key if you don't have you know whatever so we're just gonna loot all of this stuff because we can and why not right nothing really over here Okay, people. Nasty surprise. Yeah. Just a lot of traps. Oh. Okay. That was a dex throw rather than rather than this. Okay, weird. Why why is that being a dex instead? I mean, you can't reach me. That was weird. Oh, did I try to disarm it with like Gale? Is that my issue? No. Yeah, guidance. Weird. Ooh, need at least a two. <laughs> Could have been bad. We were close. Hmm. 
Okay. Um, how about we cast Guidance on Gale? Oh, we can get Guidance back up now. Yeah, Guidance is an extremely useful spell. So I recommend getting it if, uh... Be wary. This place is trapped. Or having someone able to cast it. If you're playing this on your own, it's... Okay, that's not good. We should be able to retry... Oh, no, we can't with the uh, Trap Disarm Kit. Okay. There we go. Much better. Okay, we are running out of... What is it? Um... Inspiration, which is not exactly a great thing. In theory, you can take some of these, like, vases and stuff, too. Um, but we're just going to want to check them all. Because I don't really want to take them with us. But, if they have anything in them, it would be nice. I don't think any of these do. And sometimes, like, the pathing in this, it's like, why are we going around that way? This looks like a door. Does that not look like a door to you? <laughs> I think it very much, well, could be. Um, a stone chair, eh? Can we reach these? We can. Anything else in there? Yeah. Okay. Well, we won't sit in that yet, but I have a feeling. Yeah. Click. Well, it's saying click. Interesting. Oh, we probably have to do both, because there's another one over here. Makes sense. Carafe of wine. I mean, a lot of this stuff, I think, goes into the camp supplies, which we can just send to camp. Unburden ourselves a bit. Pitcher of beer. We'll take it. You never know. A pouch. Not a whole lot on here. The leadership of the Zentarum. So the Zentarum are a faction in this game, kind of like the Harpers. Uh, you know, there's Harpers, Zentarum, there's several others, etc. Um, they're not necessarily a good faction, but I'll let you guys read that. There you go. Um, they're interesting to say the least. And there will be some stuff that we can do in regards of them later on. So. We'll, we'll definitely encounter them Zentarum as well as the, uh, the Harpers in this. I mean, should come as no surprise because you do in the originals as well. Okay, I think we've looted everything, so we're just going to go into here really quick. Um, okay, I do want to just do a quick, like, let's make all of this stuff. We want to keep that. Uh, 
Um, we're going to want to make all of these add to wares. Add to wares and send to Carlac. Send to Carlac. To Carlac. It's great to have Carlac here. Let's put it this way. Because <laughs> she can carry like everything. Um, which is huge for us. And actually, we should open the alchemy pouch. Can we... Do we extract them? Okay, so that's what we do here. All right. So we can make a few different things. We can make um, all of this stuff, and that should help... Um, Everything that we would need to do as well might help out in regards to to what we can create and stuff later as well. Yeah, there we go. So we got all these essences, salts, ashes, suspensions, etc. So now we can create some like simple toxins, oil of accuracies, elixirs. And then the biggest thing, potions, potions of greater healing, potions of healing, etc. Um, and we'll get more of these as we go on. Okay, so we're going to toggle group. Um, sit. My faith will guide me. Sit. Okay, so I need, okay, so Carlac then. What's the story? Wits and blades always show. And then Gale. The path less traveled. I wonder what the next move is. Oh, not you, Shadowheart. All right. What now? Yeah. Add bonus. I thought we did guidance on you, but maybe we didn't. Okay. Step carefully. There's a yeah. trap. And there was that one there too, so we got to be careful on the way out. And then while we're here, we are just going to go by type because we're about to get a whole bunch more stuff. Uh, metallic gloves, helmets, greatsword. Studded shields. Ooh, gloves of heroism. Uh, that should be nice. Open up the torch. Potions of healing. Gold. I think that said there was like a pipe there, but oh, plate. on that one. Oh, you fool. What are you doing? 
How are you? Why are you walking around like that? Hey. All right. See, we already read that one upstairs. That's the pleasurable deal. I mean, I guess we can just take it, and then we can just sell it. Gilded chest. Tons of money. <laughs> Let that candle burn. Perfect. Probably nothing in these vases. If we take one, I'm just curious to like... Oh, we can't actually take one. Okay. All right. So we're good to go. Shadow hurts. Oh, is she stuck in the door? All right. Making me sweat. That's right. Mm. I applaud your taste. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. There we go. This way. Why? There we go. Everybody join together again. And let's get up. This distance between Elturel and Gilded Gate. I'd say a long way away. Probably. So this doesn't look promising with all the gnolls here. Traps, please. Um, there's a bridge over here. We'll get to it in a minute. And I wanted to check out this stuff. Pile of bones. There's a candle on that one. Interesting. Um, but yeah. There's some stuff back here which we kind of saw when the screen zoomed out um, from in here. Oh yeah, and there's a burrow hole. So that's one, so we can probably go through that burrow hole in order to get to um, that vault if we didn't have like the key and stuff. Severed arms, severed head, gross. Um, yeah, there it is, right there. Way too big. Okay. Um, and unlike in Divinity, <laughs> maybe some small spoilers for Divinity in here. Um, Divinity Original Sin, and t one and two. Um, with these severed heads and things like that, we don't need to take them with us in this game, which is kind of nice because it was very gross. To have to take them with us and the things you could do with them <laughs> and i'll leave it at that uh just juts out a little i wasn't too sure if there was something there bodies everywhere accident or sabotage Ooh. nice more arrows Special arrows. Oh, and here we go. And now we found this. It's fantastic. So now we can come back here at any point. So this is the route we could have taken. Uh, there's a cave over here. Um, we'll explore that cave later. I'm going to go across this bridge first. In fact, um, we can mark it down as well that as a, uh, cave. Right? Is that, oh man, 
Or did I did I see something over here we could do? Over here. Okay, we could climb up this way. Oh, interesting. That's under the cave? Or over the cave? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Whatever killed those gnolls might be nearby. Careful. Wasn't it Carlac? Didn't we establish that? Is there a rib cage over here? More severed heads. Carlac or um pick up that. Hyena ears are actually really good. I think you can make them to make um, some pretty good um, potions. Yeah. Milk can. Overly care about those too much. I don't think I'm gonna. Oh, I mean, we can check every vase, but the vases don't ever tend to have much um, in them. I feel. I feel. Like we should be going on stealth here. Um, we came up through there. That's where we found Carlac. Um, so let's do that. All right. That way's the step. Don't mind if I do. Oh yeah. Bloated hyenas. Gross. Something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. Dead caravan agents. Dead knolls. Okay, so there is some hyenas and stuff. Oh. Okay. Hyenas. I, I can talk to it. I didn't realize that. eyes roll back in its head equal parts bliss and agony she'd eaten feasted and yet looking into her eyes you can see it wasn't enough she's still hungry hmm I mean this doesn't look good Come. see my flesh becomes new flesh gross hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. You watch with cold realization. This isn't the end of one life, but the start of another. Mm -hmm. Gnolls, vicious, monstrous humanoids can spawn from the corpses of dying hyenas. See, I didn't know that. Um, there now it's alright, it'll be over soon. I mean, probably should have taken the attack, but. Her belly splits like a rotten fruit, birthing a frenzy of claws and fangs. Yeah, I didn't know this about the lore of gnolls. But yeah, this is uh, not great. I was hoping to speak to the hyena. Where is it going?
I don't think I should be surprised here, to be perfectly honest. Oh. That's why. Well. Okay. He does have disadvantage now, so I could try to run. They rolled a 20. All right. Yeah, I don't want to be crit. Thank you. We have a two. Um, so with a, with disadvantage, he had, what, two 20s then? What the heck? What is this nonsense? Okay. Well, you definitely need to get in the way. There we go. I speak, they burn. I speak, they burn. Nice. Very good. Now we could grease all of that over there. Make it a little bit harder for them to get through. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that was the hope that that happens. And now they come back down. They have to get through this, like, grease pile. Um, well, that's unfortunate that they made it through. But, we do have an arrow of fire now. Kind of hoping that they would get there a little bit. Um, okay, let's go back a bit. And let's vicious mockery this guy. <laughs> so good. All right. I don't think we need to do too much else here. Two of, or one of these guys has a bow and arrow. Two of them do. Okay. Seething Fury. All right, we got to figure out what the heck that does. Two turns of it. Probably not a great thing. We can blast them though with some magic. Yeah, they they have to go around, and he falls prone. Good. Okay, Shadow Heart. Gale. Gale can move up here and color spray, but no, we don't want to do that. Okay. Well, this Seething Fury, all right. Once it begins to give Nefiri, it'll be able to attack multiple times per turn. Okay, so that's not great. Don't get too close. So, we could use... If we got up close, we might be able to use Burning Hands on the three of them. Yeah, I think we'll do that. And also on the grease. Okay. Well, we hit it. And then... Ooh. We missed by one. I will use the portent dice. Because I think that that is a slight bit better. 
and then we can just get up a little bit closer. Entire tears protection. Protect a creature from attacks, increase its armor class by two. Okay, that's not so bad. And we can drop Gale back just a slight bit here. He's on fire, which is great. Burning critical hit. Come on now. Hmm. Okay, so if we come over here, we should be able to hit these guys with a fire arrow. Nice. That didn't quite do as much as I was hoping for. But we can healing word Carlac, so we'll do so. Soul offering, soul numbed. I don't like that. So we got to figure out what the heck that does. Ouch. Okay, so we need to heal on Carlac here. Okay, so what the heck does this mean? Can't take bonus actions or reactions. Okay. So what did this guy do? Nolfang of Yonga? Okay. Interesting. Um, so nothing overly crazy is what I see. Oh, we're out of... Heals. Okay. So let's first move to Carlac. Because we can hit all three of them. Um, and let's make it a reckless attack on everything. Because why not? And then we'll hit this one with the Pommel Strike. And we broke its concentration, so that's nice. Um, hmm. Okay. It's like, now... Now what do we do, right? I mean, I could do this to heal up two of us. And I think that actually might be the play. And then we can just be here while you Yeah, we just have disadvantage on everything because of where we're at. Are these guys how close? Let's do that. Maybe we'll kill that one. Oh, one hit point. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> it's like, it's always one hit point, isn't it? Um. All right. We'll aim for the hit there. He's on. Okay, yeah, he at least took the fire damage. That's the biggest thing. I do want to drop back now. Ooh. Yeah, that's rough. Ouch. Okay. I agree. Well, let's frenzy. See if we can kill this one. Nice. 
I mean, that's pretty good. Um, we want to throw a potion of healing there. Nice. We might be able to shove this one off of Gale, too. Nope. Alright. We tried. So we can't use a bonus action. Which is a little unfortunate. Hmm. We could take out this guy. I think that's the plan. Because at least there's that. It's my go. And to be perfectly honest, we're just going to sing a song. <laughs> Maybe he could target us or something, but that was not the case, apparently. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to try to hit this guy. Nice. Frenzied Strike, do it again. Nice. Well, we missed, but we'll have advantage on the next go. And... We will throw a... Potion of Healing right there. There we go. At least he's alive. Okay. Now we just have to kill him. Yeah, we'll make it a reckless attack. Ooh, Curse Breaker. Discover the curse of Yanaga and destroy his hyenas. Yes, I agree we should. Alright, nothing in there. Okay, um, can we... Oh, we're out of channel divinities. Got it. Well, we're going to short rest, because we need to. Um... Yeah. Don't give up now. Okay. Hyena ears. Spears. Man. The gate is closed. Well, we'll read that. Oh, enough is enough. The gate is closed. The Grand Duke and Superman have left our gate unguarded, so they close the gates. Great. To the good and godly folk of Faerun. Is that... What the heck is that? Oh, it's not a book. Um... A circular from the Church of Ogma, Lord of All Knowledge, it's stamped seal Brevik Feiner, Highest Lore Master. Oh, okay, so it is nothing um, too crazy here. Not a not story related. Got it. Shipment orders. We'll take all of that. Shipment of what? Read, deliver the chest to me unopened. Read the first sentence again. Open it and I will know because you will be dead. It's not a threat. That's what happens if you open the chest. Okay. There's a missing shipment. 
We can talk to this guy, so let's do that. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Who is NF? Baldur's Gate, the guild. Okay. What, what, where were we heading? Hide out. Secret. Interesting. What were you carrying? Chest. What happened to the chest? Who's Rugen? Lucky son of a... <laughs> Got it. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. That's fine. I think we have uh, enough answers that we needed there. Loaded hyenas. Um, as per my last letter. Does this one also say don't open the chest? Silvarius so Avacus. Interesting. Okay. About the devils. Well, I mean, we'll get all of this. Sarah, gross. Hey, some potions. Oh, that was not exactly what I wanted, but hey. Mangled corpses. I don't know where this takes us, but probably want to go. We'll go up here and check out all this stuff too. Looks like we can kind of go around, so Best be on my way. I guess we'll do that. I wish we could zoom out slightly more here. Definitely looks like we could jump that. Oh, I'm encumbered. Got it. Oh yeah, and these... uh. Gloves of Heroism, um, Syndicar Lack. Just send, like, all of that to Carlack. What do these gloves do? Whenever your channel oath spells... Channel oath. That's a paladin. Okay. Um... And then also strength saving throws plus one. Great axe plus one. Well, we can pass that down there and see. Um, what gloves do you have? Metallic gloves. Okay. So we can just give these to whoever. There you go. Carlac's actually encumbered now, which is kind of funny. Give that to how much by? By a decent amount. Let's send those to Shadowheart then. There we go. Uh, still slightly encumbered. Perfect. Um, that helmet, does it give you anything? Con saving throws. That's for cons um, constitution. That means that would be good. Um, 
you you don't want to wear any armor, right? Yeah, so we don't want to actually give you that. Gale can't wear it, but someone else should be able to. Okay, 5 to 16, 6 to 16, so we don't really want to do anything with that. Still alive, so that's progress. Where does this take us? Oh, into this area. Same place as over there, so this is just one other route we could go. Don't waste a step. Tons of food. And trust me, we're gonna want all of it. Yeah, there's so much like places and things and areas we can go and explore. Like, we'll want to go back down there. Kind of want to get to all this stuff first. Don't want to go too far this way. Can we get down there? Kind of looks like there's like a path or something that we can do to get around. Why would we want to? It's a good question. Okay. Lessons for sensible living. Uh, pick up at wares. Okay, little village up here. Don't really want to go to it yet. Like, I feel like there might be something just over here or something. Why else would we be able to go down here? Very odd. But nope, not no perception checks came up, so we'll hop up here. Oh yeah, so that's to over there. Little village. Of sorts. Kind of want to get to all this stuff first. And we're probably going to want to um, have a long rest here pretty quick. Oh, an open letter. Okay. Dear Editor, Parliament of Peers, Cries for Father. Oh. Okay. No animal larger than a peacock may gain entry. Interesting. So they're having issues trying to get to um, Baldur's Gate, it looks like. Almost looks like we could climb up there. Okay. Hyena ears. We haven't gone up this way. K. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Well, before we fight more hyenas, we're going to need to have a long rest. This brings us down to that cave. Like, I'm tempted to go down here and see if there's anything down that way. So, we get back down there. Here we go. So we'll go do that, and then we'll, I think, teleport back to town, use the waypoint back to town, sell all of our stuff. Have a long rest. See if anyone has some good stuff for sale.
or any more interesting things for sale, I should say. Just, yeah, just some broken stuff down here. Ooh. Freudian crystals, ward fangs. Okay. And a couple skeletons under here. There are half of druid symbols on their equipment. Ooh. An interesting pair. Alright, nothing else over there. Yeah, that is an interesting pair. Um is it say Gale was inspired? Right, where was this? Oh, right here. Flat Rock. Oh, and speaking of which, we now have you. Ah, Bloodstone. Under there. Got it. Um. Way, way, way back down here. So let's, let's go do this really quick. Now that I'm thinking about it. Now that we have Carlac, I mean, we probably could have done this with Lizel too. Is coming back to over here. chest under there. Harper's Notebook. Interesting. Tattered collection of reports held together with moon and harp seal. Okay. Harper's Map. So there's a cache. Okay. Where? Ah! Hidden cache. Cool. And that was a section that we couldn't quite get to, right? Because we tried to go there, but we couldn't, like, jump up there. So we have to come under here to do that. Okay. Neat. Um, it's like, I thought we had a place to go to a little bit closer, but nope. There we go. Oh, and the other thing, too, um, how the heck do we get up here? Maybe we just send Carlac up there, I guess? We could. I can't imagine there's anything dangerous up there, but we could just send Carlac up there and jump. Looked like she could probably make it. She's got a huge strength. unfortunate, but we probably can't save them all. I mean, we already have one dead Typhleen kid. Need anything else? Yes. Of course. But please, remember, you're not the only one in need. And actually, we should look at the type of armor you have. Do you have, like... That's light armor. Darn. Because sometimes you can find, like, just shirts that are armored as well, plus one type of dealio. Um, okay, so we, we actually have w too much m stuff here to sell. Okay, 
Well, we're going to... Ooh, he has a scroll of haste. That's actually very nice. Um, Nettie's gloves. Oh, yeah, just straight up leather gloves. We do not need... Scale mail, leather armor, long sword, a long bow if I had anyone proficient with it. Would be nice. Nature's Snare, which is a quarter staff. We'll give that to Gale. Okay, I guess we can't from this menu. That's okay. Oh, okay. Perfect. And then we're basically at the point of what can what can we get from you, right? Well, tempted to get the arrows of lightning. Arrows of darkness less so. Scrolls of revivify could be very nice. Oh, he's got potions of healing. Yeah, we'll take those. Um, I should probably sort this by type. Can I sort this by type? No, we can't. That's right. Um, see, this could be good for Ar uh, Arlac, Carlac, because we could get her some, like, javelins and stuff that she could throw. In fact, there are some here. So be 1d6 plus strength and a d4. I mean, that's a good amount of damage. So I think we'll do that. And we'll get that ring. Not worried about the camp supplies. Arrow of fire, I would love. Doesn't look like he has... He's got some of these. A couple scrolls of Featherfall is also nice. Arrows of Ill Matter, Acid, Corn Truffles. Okay. Now we can sell... A bunch more stuff. Um, he has 200 gold left. Okay. He has one gold left. <laughs> That's it, eh? All right. Well, we're at our limit here. Sylvanas be with you. Okay. So, first off, two, one, two, three, four. Give those to Carlac. And this quarterstaff to Gale. Alright. Sort by type. Light crossbow. Okay. There. Okay, so those just stay there. Okay, got it. Actually, we should keep that on us. I don't know why I sent that to you. Didn't mean to. Alright. So from here to here looks like all wares. Okay, we could send these to camp too. Um, same thing with the money. We actually don't need to keep money on us. So we'll come down here to Damon, right? That's his name. Because one, we also have to come talk to him for Carlac. Ooh, and we should try to sell to these people too. Seems like a good moment to talk. Full 
thought I sensed an infernal mind here. But you aren't from Elder, are you? What's your story? <laughs> like a bit of time in the hells. Enlisted against my will by the Archdevil Zariel. Same as you, I suppose, if you're from Elturel. The devils were delighted when your city was swallowed up. I thought they had you for keeps. Glad you got out. You got lucky. It looks like you did too. And... You brought some infernal machinery with you. Yep. A little gift from Zariel. Keeps me burning hot. Very hot by the smell of it. Might be burning out of system ring or leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? You're my guest. But don't get too close or your eyes will melt shut. Huh? You, you really are burning up. Whoever put that engine together. Tried to house metallurgized demono valves inside a Ragnax alloy casement. Very risky. I might be able to help. I'd need infernal iron. And a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. That thing isn't meant to operate outside of Ernest. I'm not sure how much longer it'll keep running the way it's going. Okay. Will you be able to turn down the temperature a little? Worried I'm gonna go in for a handshake and singe someone's arm off one of these days. I'd worry about surviving the night first. But help one, help both. If we can cool you off, it'll stabilize your engine and allow you to touch whomever you please. Okay. Where should we look? I've sensed some during our travels. It has a, a pull to it. Absolutely magnetic, once you know what you're looking for. I can show you where I'd look. Sure. I'm assuming he's putting it on a map. All right, we'll keep our eyes open for it. Plenty of weapons and armor in stock. If you're looking to load up. Yes. And he has money now, which is great because there. <laughs> Because we have stuff to sell. <laughs> okay, we have a trident plus one. Okay, that's padded armor, so that's unfortunate. Rapier plus one. Could be good for us, because we that's what we use. We use a rapier. And you know what? It doesn't exactly hurt to get. We'll take a look at Shadow Heart here. That's exactly what she's wearing. Um, that's medium armor. I have the padded armor plus one. That's just a regular quarter staff. No one cares about. Um, we'll actually buy that and give that to Carlac. A short bow plus one could be good for, um, actually both of these things could be good for a Starian, so we'll grab him. Uh, is this armor? That's armor. That's unfortunate. And that's it there. Okay. Um, we can sell a little bit more now. Okay. There we go. Okay. Forged from the heart. Now let's come back up here to old Auntie Ethel and talk to her. Hello, Petal. Need anything? Any lotions or potions? Hey, bother. Okay. You have another potion of greater healing. Potion of Invisibility, Potions of Healing, yeah, we'll pick up all your um, stuff to make things as well, 
And then you have like 800. Perfect, we can sell all the wares. This brimmed hat, and then just kind of seeing what else we might have in our inventories. I don't think there's anything else. So, perfect. Can we get more gruel from her? Darn. Okay. Right, we're supposed to return to Zevlor. So we might as well do that while we're here. I don't think it's going to do anything for us right now, but we can at least talk to him and be like, hey, we talked to the people. They said, uh-uh. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Um... Can you delay the ritual? Leaving the grove is the best option I can help. You have to resist. Maybe you have no, to resist? The druids are too powerful. We can't stand against the Oh, that's what it meant by resist. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. <laughs> Alright, then why don't we get rid of her? But I'd be lying if I said I hadn't considered it. But the druids would slaughter us. We'd have to get close to Korga, within striking distance. I can't manage that. But they've already let you pass once. All right, uh, not some murder for hire. With me either, but to get these people to safety, there's nothing I No, we kind of are. You'd be well rewarded for the risk, but if that won't sway you, there's nothing more to discuss. Okay. We're civilians now. With respect, sir, being a hellrider is polite. It can't take. They can and did. Avernus changed. Huh. Didn't notice we could get up here before. Chattered wine barrels. Really don't want us to like look in all of your, your stuff up here. That's okay, it doesn't look like there's much to get up here. But we have a ladder up, and maybe that's how we get up to this spot. Yeah, okay. I was wondering, how do we get up here? You well, now we know. Goblins would kill us the second set foot outside. But after hearing what you did at the gates, well, I still think they'll kill us. But at least we can put up a fight. Woo! <sighs> Not with that attitude. <laughs> fight and win. There's optimism. And then there's stupid hunt. Plenty of us fell to monsters already. I don't see the rest of us lasting long out there. But if you're so sure we will, why not put a little gold on the line? <laughs> you have an odd sense of humor. This isn't really funny. Or sure, it's a bet. Excellent. And since I ain't one to leave a debt unpaid, that means we're destined to meet in Borders Gate. Yep. Looking forward to it. We'll see you there. I mean, it is the name of the game, right? So. <laughs> okay, so that's how we get back down. It's a cool little grove area. Um. Ah, so this could be a way how you get up. We're down there and around. Neat. Uh, so anyways, we're getting up here. I don't really know where we're going. Oh, we're getting a treasure chest. This is cool. Done. 
could always use some extra cash. Man, this is so cool looking. Like, how big is this, like, cave that, and stuff that there's just so much water flowing off of it? Okay. Well, we can use Carlac to get down there. see where this takes us. Oh. Okay. Okay, well there we go. We found that little treasure there. So what's next? We need a long rest. So I guess we come up here. So we have that cave. We've got the Albear cave somewhere down here. In fact, we should we'll have that as well um, we want to get to that cache but we really only could by coming down so we need to do that there's so many places on the map now find infernal iron so that's somewhere over here um, this was the swamp this is the crash this is the goblin camp in Holson. The missing shipment is up here. So we go here, rest, then deal with this. And there was this village over here as well. So maybe we can do all that. I don't know. For the most part, too, this will probably be our party. <laughs> These are probably the most, the people that I like the most out of um, all the companions that you can get other than some that you get much later down um, but yeah we are going to go to long rest because we are out of spell slots on our healers oh hell's fire she's coming Well, you've been naughty, hmm? and you know what happens when you're naughty. God damn it. Anyone but her. Uh, in the Who in the Nine Hills well, are you? You absolute stinker. You kept me a secret. Hmm. Time to let the Hellcat out of the bag. Call me Mizora. I'm Will's patron, the fount of his power. My pet's been unruly, and his leash needs a yank. We had a deal, Will. But Carlac's still breathing. <laughs> I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora, and at least those can be buried after. <laughs> That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Carla, Zariel sends her regards. You told me! Devils only! She's a tiefling, not a monster! How precious. The little pupster's found his bark. Clause G, section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Carlac meets the criteria by virtue of having no heart. <sighs> Better not lay a damn finger Don't on Garlac. 
that ship has long sailed the sticks. But a defiant pup must still pay his price. To wit. Oil burns in the fires of Avernus. <laughs> the lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence and their torment. have you done a promise broken a price paid you know the terms you'll get used to the new form pet there's no going back some magic even i can't undo yeah now let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade well Carla, we'll see keep an eye on him would you i'll be keeping mine on you. Oh, and Will, don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta ta. <laughs> Lovely times, right? Okay, well, now we have a few things to discuss with the party. So, I mean, we already did, anyways. Let's talk to Carlac to first. Chose my life over his. It's been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. <sighs> huh? He's a good man. He'd be the best of us. Say that again. When he was chasing me through Avernus, I thought he was just another sad merc. How wrong <laughs> I was. Yeah. We could do hey, some talking to people right now too. How did you end up Be such here. a contraption in your Tenere. chest? The place, a sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero, Karlak, a not need delinquent from the outer city, with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. Yeah. She put this thing in my chest and set me to work. Well, to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. Okay. You mentioned a boss who gave you to Zariel. Who was it? A guy named Gortash. Mm. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job. A good job. With people I liked. Doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Ugh. Oh. Feel so invincible again. Hmm. Aren't we all? All right. It sounds like all we need to do is fix your engine. Is find some infernal iron. Diamond is as good as he seems. Once my engine's handled, I can focus on more important matters: tadpoles, cults, frosty pints. Yep. Yeah. Um. What's the best way to kill a devil? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Hmm. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what are we talking about? Um... You and Mazora seem to know each other, how? We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice, me by force. In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. 
Sure, I got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. She favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. Do you think she'll keep coming after I you? I don't know. You think she'd have more important things to do? Devils and their pride. Okay. This isn't where I thought I'd end up. How about you? Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that Nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? Ah, uh, I'd be in the middle of another adventure, blessedly free of any tadpole. I can picture you getting mixed up in some outrageous shit. Giants. Beholders. <laughs> Thayans. The works. Maybe once we've wrapped up the current shenanigans, we'll rest a bit and find some new heap of troubles to throw ourselves at. Maybe. Okay. Um, I think Will has stuff to talk about. And then we'll do a quick round with the other companions after. God's damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right. And Mazora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. Warlock pets tend to be mm. unforgiving from what you know of them. Will was lucky he didn't face a more severe punishment. Yeah. What did you expect? She's a devil, hardly the paragon of honesty. All these years. You'd think it's a lesson I'd have well learned. It's Mizora who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast eldritch blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds. But I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. What are the terms I of your pact? I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. I can tell you most all else, but the pact, I'm forbidden, unless Mazora permits it. But I'll say this, the moment I pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. Interesting. It's worth the sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. All right. Well, no. How does it feel to be a devil? That anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. I feel the weight of these horns on my head curling upwards like a mammoth's tusk. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck, not to mention a few bumps and prongs in unmentionable places. <laughs> but I haven't seen my reflection just yet. Be my mirror. What do you see? Uh, the Blade of Frontiers, no more, no less. It's because you know the heart lurking under the horns. The people will see a curiosity. Maybe even a beast hungry for their souls. But I will slay their monsters. Keep them safe. And one day they will see the Blade of Frontiers again. Mm-hmm. You should get out of this pack. that's kept me awake countless nights. But I don't have a clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. Ah, we'll figure it out. There must be some loophole Could that well gets be. you out. She has the blighted thing. What I know of it is simply what has engraved itself upon my memory. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. Hmm. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. Huh. We'll see if it's worth it. We might need the pact after all. I just fear what she will do to us I'm next. I'm so sorry to give you another reason to sleep restlessly. 
but it's my burden to bear. She won't touch you unless there's something there for her to take. Don't give her so much as an inkling there might be. Done, I won't. Alright, let's go talk to Gail. I can't help feeling Will got off lightly. The wrath of the hells is second only to the wrath of the heavens. Having a devil in our camp will certainly make things interesting. Never a dull day, is there? Okay. Um. Yeah, we don't really need to know too much more about that. Lizel, let's go talk to you, brief. The blade of frontiers in the guise of a devil. I'd remark on the irony, but I'd hate to waste the breath. Still, it took guts to defy that petty patron of his. The blade's sting is real. Yes, Lizel. Do you know much about I mind flayers? Beyond your comprehension. God. To the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. <sighs> what happens when we don't find a cure? hair falls out and you bleed from every orifice your bones will change form your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles all skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath then you have ceased to exist and a mind flayer is born yeah that's not gonna happen we'll find a cure May your actions express the same metal. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. You're worried we haven't changed? This yes, is good news. If you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides... What hasn't happened may yet come to pass. I mean, we can ask about this. It just doesn't feel right. You look so unusual, Githy Yankee. You're rare in these parts. I am your first. I know of them, but I've never met one. Of course you haven't. They would have cut you from navel to neck. You are no less alien to me than I am to you. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. Rude. <laughs> really? Thanks for noticing? It was an observation, not a compliment. No matter. I do not intend to stay long in this place. Alright. That's fine. Will did the right thing, and it earned him a set of horns. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to us all. Thanks, Astarian. Okay, that's it. Uh, and then Shadowheart. Almost pleasant traveling with company. If you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. All right. Fine. Talk about what's all what happening like? here. How am I holding up in your I don't estimations? Think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them. All right. Well, with that, we'll head to bed. We will. I do like this song. The do, 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 da da I do like that one quite a lot. Oh. Well, looks like we have somebody in camp with us. Hope you're keeping well, friend. 
Sorry about what happened to your master. Friend. I stayed with him until... Until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him. But I'm glad to have met you. Bet him. Actually reminds me very much like my dog. Very similar. The white. Fluffy. How many times can you pet him? Probably only need to do it that, that once. Yeah, we don't get more and more for it. Okay, so Scratch is pretty cool. Um, oh, thank you. That's that's nice. He'll randomly find you stuff when you return to camp. Um, you can also... I think in time... Um, you'll get an ability as well um, to be able to summon him like a familiar out and about and he can sniff out places for you and stuff like that which is pretty cool so that was one of the main reasons well I mean one of the main reasons it's also I mean it's scratch he's awesome um, but there we go so, but we're gonna call it here um, I think next time so we'll We'll head out to camp right now. I just want to look over the the log here. Find the missing shipment. Um, the Hellion's Heart, the Blade of Frontiers, our fiery friend, and we finished Hunt with the Devil. Um, the biggest thing I think we want to do next time is find the miss missing shipment and then check out this village. Then we're close to the crash. Or then we can hop down here to this hidden cache and, like, check out this stuff here. Um, the goblin camp, I think we wanted, we don't want to do quite yet. There's quite a few things to do here. Um, yeah. Um, how close are we, are, are we to leveling? We're still... We're st Still a good ways away, man. Get a little slow in this one, at least to start. Okay, but that's going to be it. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.